kind of like a perfect barreling right or left, whatever way you want to look at it. Delicious Pow Maui vodka. And yes, that is a Le Creuset Dutch oven and we are fancy. I was always a little intimidated by it, but definitely a lot easier than I thought. Welcome to Kitchen Captain. I'm Ian Walsh, and today we're gonna do an easy one. Penne a la vodka. Well, actually, not that. We're gonna be making rigatoni a la vodka because we don't have penne, and we're gonna use rigatoni noodles. And our vodka of choice is Pow Maui vodka, made right here on Maui. And this meal is really fast. It's only 20 to 25 minutes, so I have everything ready to go because it's gonna go quick. Let's go. First up, we're gonna do our garlic. Oh, easy little fella. We're gonna do three cloves. If you wanna go real deep, you can use more. You could put this in a garlic press or use a little grater, but I think a rough chop is a little bit less dishes and just as good. Okay, next up, one medium onion. This is kind of a big dog, but we're gonna call this medium and use it. Garlic and onions are gonna go right into our big old Dutch oven. Turn your oven on to like a medium low because we do not want to burn or brown our onions. Making quite a Everest scale mountain of onions right now. And I'm a little uncertain if we need this many, but I'm pot committed, so f it. We're gonna use it all. Okay, into our Dutch oven, three tablespoons grass-fed unsalted butter. Definitely too hot right now. Also, that handle was hot. Dutch oven holds some heat. And we'll let that cool for a second off of our stove. Heating element. All right, whatever. Got an idea. Got an idea to not be dumb today. We will not be defeated. We're gonna outsmart this kitchen today. This is coming here. All of our onions and garlic are going in there. And the reason we wanna cool this sweet baby Dutch oven down is we don't wanna brown these onions and garlic. We want them to just sweat in there for a little bit. Okay, let's get our girl back on the stove. Give those a mix around in our butter. We're just gonna let them sweat. We're just gonna keep stirring that for about 15 minutes. And yes, that is a Le Creuset Dutch oven and we are fancy. Okay, while our onions and garlic are going, we're gonna add a pinch of red pepper flakes, maybe two, because I am a big, big fan. And we're gonna do a pinch of salt to season lightly. We don't need to over season this thing right now because it's gonna get a gradual phase of seasoning. Okay, I'll just let those things do their job flavoring everything up. Okay, next step in our sauce is we're gonna add four and a half ounces of tomato paste. All those years of toothpaste practice are paying off greatly right now. Okay, mix that around and let this cook for about three minutes. Okay, sauce is partying. Now we can turn on our water. Bring it up to a boil. Pretty self-explanatory there. Okay, can of whole peeled tomatoes and their beautiful juice. You want the 14 ounce can. I only have the 28 ounce can, so we're gonna use half of this. Simple math. Okay, take your wooden spoon and break this all up. And get them right up on the edge of this thing and just smash the shit out of them. A couple pinches of salt and let this thing simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream and this is gonna make this sauce thick with two C's. Stir to mix this all in there. Get to our vibrant orange hue. And we're gonna transfer this to a blender. I'm trying to do this as smart as possible by not trying to pour this out of here. If you have a better transfer method, don't be shy, share it. Oh, that's what I was trying to not do there. I feel like if you went in on that thing from the get-go, you're looking at a serious mess. Okay, we wanna get all of our onions out of this Dutch oven, and God damn it, this thing is heavy. Release some of that air so you don't explode. What the hell? Gotta be on. Okay, let's take this thing to a nice smooth oblivion. 
gonna take a peek in here. Give this a couple pets down. Oh, that smells good. It smells good and it doesn't even have our vodka in it yet. I think we're good. Okay, let's take our sauce. Looking glorious. This water is aggressively boiling. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. Add our rigatoni. 16 ounces, one pound. You know what we did not do? We did not salt our water. Good couple pinches of salt. Delicious. Fresh. I guess it's not fresh, it's been <laughs> aged Parmesan. Really good Parmesan cheese. Only need a few ounces of this, but nobody ever complained about extra cheese. We're gonna use some of this in the sauce and we're also gonna use this at the end when we're about to devour this meal. See our rigatoni is a nice little tubular pasta, kind of like a perfect barreling right or left, whatever way you wanna look at it. Not done and hot, both not much longer though. Delicious Pow Maui vodka. We're gonna use a quarter, God, I love that sound. Quarter cup vodka, one minute before your noodles are done. Spider strain out our pasta straight into the sauce. And it's okay if some of that pasta water goes into that sauce because we're actually gonna use some of that in a second here. Get this all incorporated. Around a half cup-ish of our pasta water. Add that into our sauce. Last step. Add some cheese. And then we're gonna stir this in. Let's plate this and do it. Okay, I can barely wait. Rigatoni a la vodka. And that is delicious. Creamy goodness. I've always had this in restaurants and I've never done it at home. I was always a little intimidated by it, but definitely a lot easier than I thought. This thing is so damn good. Some Parmesan that will first basil plucks out of our new herb garden. It shouldn't taste any different because basil is basil, but I do have to say, coming from your own little herb garden, way better. And we got that nice creamy sauce, like we said, was thick with two C's. You know what I'm talking about. There you go. Rigatoni a la Pau Maui Vodka. Thanks for watching. Definitely gonna put down the entire pound of this.